Okay. So now I'm going to do a little more algebra and then we'll make it more concrete by going to our studio. So um, the first thing is just um, log odds are linear. So beta one is the change in the log odds uh, for a one unit increase, just an S in there, in X. Um, and uh, for odds, e to the beta one is the multiplier for each one unit increase. And both those changes are constant. One is like a linear change and one is a multiplicative change, but they're both constant. So um, we often want to know about odds ratios for logistic regression. So I'm just going to do some algebra. So I'm going to say the odds of x are going to be uh, pi over 1 minus pi. And I'm going to put hats on my pi's because they're going to be the um, the fitted values, and I'll just put a little x next to them as well to say it's the probability of x happening. And that's going to be e to the beta 0 hat plus beta 1 hat x. And then I want to think about what if I had a one unit increase in x. So then I would have the odds of x plus 1, and I'll denote that as pi hat x plus 1 over 1 plus pi hat x plus 1. That'll be e to the beta 0 hat plus beta 1 hat x plus 1. Questions? Thoughts? Okay. And so now what I'm going to do is an odds ratio. I'm going to divide, uh, I'm going to say odds of x plus 1 over odds of x is something that I want to know about. Basically, like as x goes up by one, what happens to the odds? And I'm just going to put these two equations into my fraction. So I'm going to say, OK, that's e to the beta 0 hat plus beta 1 hat x plus 1 over e to the beta 0 plus beta 1 hat of x. And now I have to remember some of my um, rules. There's like log rules and exponent rules, which again, you probably had in some high school math class, I would guess. Um, so you may recall that if you um, are adding inside an exponent, that's like um, multiplying with the same uh, base. So I can do e to the beta zero hat times e to the beta one hat x plus 1. And these two things are equal. So I had a plus in the exponent, and this is turning into multiplying two things with the same um, kind of base there. And then I can do the same thing on the bottom, e to the beta 0 hat times e to the beta 1 hat x. And then I can just cancel out those e to the beta 0 hats. And then I can actually do the same thing that I just did with the you know, pluses turning into multiplication. I can do that up here. So I can say this is oops, e to the beta, beta 1 hat x times e to the beta 1 hat. And that's over e to the beta 1 hat x. And again, these e to the beta 1 hat x's cancel. And it just ends up being e to the beta 1 hat. So that is the odds ratio. The book might ask you about um, odds ratios. This is the odds ratio for a one unit increase in x. So in that sentence about the odds, I said, you know, we it's associated with multiplying the odds by e to the beta 1 hat. Uh, this is y. OK. Um, and I'm going to do one more piece of algebra and then done with algebra for today. So um, the last thing is sometimes we want to know the 50% point. So if I go back to my um, my probability space, um, you know, if I was at, I don't know what this is. Okay, this is, okay, my iCloud is being annoying. Um, if I was at 30 yards, I would go up to the line and I would predict a uh, probability by hat is equal to, you know, 0.98 or something. And then I would probably round that to one and say, okay, I think if you're 30 yards away, you made the field goal. 
Um, and then I also might want to know, okay, what if I was 60 yards away? Uh, I'm going to go up to the model line and make a prediction right on the line. And I would say pi hat is equal to whatever this is, 0.37. Um, which I'm going to round to zero. And I'm going to say they did not make the field goal. So I might be interested in this 50% point um, where it switches from predicting that they made the field goal to, to predicting that they did not make the field goal. So I might want to know what's that distance that is the 50% point. Uh, so that's a useful thing to know. And so we're gonna do some math to figure that out. So we wanna know um, the place at which pi is equal to 0 0.5. And so I'm just gonna think about the log odds, log pi over one minus pi for 50%. That's gonna be log of 0 0.5 over one minus 0 0.5 which turns into log of 0.5 over 0.5, which turns into log of one, because anything over itself is one, and log of one is zero. And so now, um, because you know the log pi one minus pi, that was the one that was linear with the beta zero and the beta one x. Now I can just say, okay, I'm gonna set log pi one minus pi to be zero because that would be the 50 percent point and that'll be beta zero plus beta one x and i want to solve for x to figure out that x point so i'm going to subtract beta zero from both sides and then i'm going to divide by beta one and so x is equal to negative beta zero over beta one that's another little formula that you that you might want. Um, and again, uh, at this point, you should hopefully believe me that that's the 50% point. Um, that the way that you can find the x where it where it transitions is taking beta zero over beta one. And I guess you might have hats here, um, and you're gonna change the sign of that fraction. <laughs> 